Hello my soccer universe. I decided to go with the Bundesliga next. I'm wearing my Germany shirt for that and I still don't have any Bundesliga jerseys. I was very close of clinching a Bayern jersey. It was just for two euros but was already sold when I contacted the seller and I was thinking about some others that would have fit nicely in these videos here but yeah it was not to be so nothing here. <laughs> from Germany except this I'm still saying it's a pretty nice Germany jersey so yeah that's what I'll be wearing for all four parts since the Bundesliga has only 18 teams the first two parts will have five teams the others will have four and I'll do it the same way as in the Premier League I drop it into four parts and then I'll choose in parts of four so the first four are the group one, uh, seed pot one if you like, then pot two and so on. And then out of each uh, pot I choose a team and then put them in alphabetical order and that's how I chose. And since the seeded team in this group is of course the eight times defending, seven times, eight times defending champion Bayern Munich, that's where we start. They are very high up in the alphabet. and. They get a very interesting jersey. I mean, first of all, we have to state that the fans only demand red and white jerseys, despite Bayern having war in the history, uh, blue and red as well, especially in the 70s that they're always referring to. But anyway, the fans want to have red and white jerseys, so that's what they get. They get a red home jersey, which per se doesn't look that bad, but do you see these lozenges going all over? Well, on one side, I first thought this is like a nod to the Bavarian flag, but um, upon second inspection, yes, it looks like they're kind of a rubber boat or whatever, like a swimming pool. But that clicked then for me, because that means uh, this is a reference to the stadium facade of the Allianz Arena. Um, there is not really much more to the shirt. I think it all fits nice together. The only thing that I don't like is the slightly darker red sleeves. Um, that is a little bit an oddity of this one. But overall, I think for a Bayern jersey, it's almost everything that you want to have. Maybe the pattern is a little bit too crazy. So for that, I give it only seven stars. The away jersey is kind of boringish, honestly. White and gray. At least you get the full colored crest. But, uh, you know, you see the sponsor is in gray to keep in the tone with the shirt. And this weird bottom. And then you have this gray a pattern and then you have the gray border on the bottom gray uh, sleeve stripes boring not very exciting I wish this was red not gray four stars way more exciting though is the third jersey which reminds me a little bit of the Manchester United third jersey but this one is navy and has kind of a bright red orangey applications and if you look there's a shadow pattern also with those lozenges that we already saw from the on the home jersey this one looks actually really nice I wish it was full colored crest although it doesn't look too bad here but um, you know I think the full color crest on the Bayern jersey just looks better but this has quite some style overall um, and I want to give this eight star this one looks really good so overall uh, the away jersey a little bit boring the rest actually quite nice looking and Bayern can, if you stay with the red jersey at home you can, actually cannot do that much wrong to be honest and a third jersey in dark blue or black it's also nothing where you can do much wrong so let's move on to the next team which is Hoffenheim who's uh, switched from, I think they were with Lotto and now they are with Homa. And Homa pulled out all the stops with a very interesting home jersey. It's a similar color that we already saw in Spain. I want to say with Leganes, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, you know, very kind of after the crew neck and then there goes this color, almost Korean style type of color, which looks a little bit weird. But I think they all dominating feature is that the blue jersey has this weird spider webby pattern where you actually see that the web gets wider the, towards the bottom of the jersey in a nice mathematical pattern so this is something i've always uh like and appreciated uh also note that the angle of the pattern fits very nicely with the angle on the logo so i like that one too but I don't like that the pattern is then accentuated with those light blue and white um 
uh, strokes. That is a teeny bit much. And I think detracts a little bit from a jersey. I think a jersey is one of the more interesting ones, but I think it's overdoing it slightly. And for that, also, it's similar to the Bayern jersey, um, also only seven stars. Uh, the away jersey is mint green, and A, to me, doesn't provide enough contrast with the home jersey. And mint green is... N I don't like mint green as a soccer shirt color. There are only a few teams that can pull this off. Barcelona being one of those... Um, but here it just distracts me a little bit too much and they have the dark green below, dark green outline, weird color like this cut, it's a crew neck, then this, then this cut V or whatever, uh, spawns a little, little bit off place. That jersey is honestly a little bit of a mess. Um, don't like it. I only give this three stars. Um, the third jersey uses a similar template, but now it's black and gray. It's better than the the away jersey, but again, blue, black, where's the contrast? There's not too much contrast there. Um, yeah, and it's not very imaginative as well. At least the sponsor is not full color. The crest is also monochromatic, so you know, there it has some things going for it. But it's overall not a great jersey. I'm going to give this four stars. The home jersey was by far the best one. And then we get to a newly promoted sign with the, in German, Erste FC Köln, or first football club of Cologne. Uh, the famous goats uh, that I'm very happy to see back. They are one of my favorite teams in Germany, have always been. And they play in a traditional white jersey, but I have to say that Ulsport deliver the jersey that I have to say is a little bit odd and the oddity comes from two places the color that doesn't the red stops here and doesn't go all around we have we seen this Nike of course and then this shoulder band here that's kind of parallel to the color it reminds me more of an American football jersey than a soccer jersey uh, this is something we have not seen much and I have to see it doesn't look all that good it kind of makes this jersey very average what what it has going is that it's still a very classic cologne look or cologne look let's say cologne to not uh, confuse you all uh, and i like the very slim um sleeve uh trim and the um, tail of the jer uh, jersey but nothing that all 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 the great i think this is your classic five star uh jersey I do like the away jersey better, although it's just red with a little bit darker red, but it is fine pinstriping pattern and then, you know, everything in red and white, there is something special about it. Um, it's not a wow jersey, um, I have to say that oft, uh, as well, but it is a nicer jersey than a home, home jersey for that. You know, it's somewhere between six and seven for me, but I think I will stay rather with six. I feel more comfortable with a six here than a seven. Uh, but it's a really nice look. If it would have a nicer color, I think we really could talk of, uh, about a higher grade. But I think for that, it's an, a little bit too generic. And then there's a third jersey. <laughs> uh, uh, easily one of the worst jerseys at this Bundesliga season. I like the idea. The Cologne Cathedral is amazing. If you have ever been in Cologne, it's an amazing um, building. Uh, it's a little bit heavy on the towers. I always felt that the towers are way too heavy for the rest of the structure. But overall, it is super, super impressive. This building has been uh, built for over 600 years until it's finally got completed. It is a landmark. But do we have to pull it all over the jersey? I don't mind the navy as much as I mind the light blue whitish specks where only one tower is showing and it's hidden behind the next tower and it gets this all over pattern. I think it would have been better. Just take the cathedral and put a huge cathedral pattern on the jersey. I think this actually would work because I mean it's a very vertical structure. This tuk 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 It looks like icicles, inverted icicles. It's a horrible jersey, and then uh, a gold. And here you could use a monochromatic crest uh, in gold to kind of save anything. No, you have to put in the red as well. Honestly, it's it's a horrible jersey. I, I really don't like And Cologne really 
comes up with uh, some crazy jerseys, especially during carnival time. But this one is even without carnival crazy. And as much as I love the cathedral in Cologne, this is a horrible jersey. I, I only can give this one star. And it's not even the worst jersey this season, I have to say. We'll see about that. The other promoted team is Paderborn, uh, who are equipped by a company called Sala, and they get rather, how to say, generic kits. We see them all three here. The home kit is blue with some black uh, stripes, a black shoulder and a stripe in that is fading. Uh, the color is interesting. But, you know, Paderborn for me screams like uh, average to uninteresting as much as can be. And that's exactly what describes this kit. Um, because there is some visual interest here, I give this six stars. The away kit in white with the black raglan sleeves, nothing great about it. Five, and I'm gonna go even one lower because of the color choice. I mean, this is almost a Dortmund kit, not Paderborn with the neon green. And then, yeah, it's just a little bit too much. That for me is just a um, four-star jersey. So Paderborn rather on the average. And then we'll end with another big team, another one of my favorites. And yeah, they have not been all the greatest of ladies, Werder Bremen. The home jersey this year around for Werder Bremen is your classic Bremen home, home jersey. There's nothing I would add or, or subtract. I like the color, even though it's a teeny bit weird. It's kind of a crew neck that is a v-neck also, uh, but it's green. It has the Werder logo on it. The, still the sponsor is kind of contentious, uh, but at least it's not uh, very intrusive because it's just in white on green. You have a, maybe the tail in darker green that's a little bit weird, although it could be just the back set. So yeah, it's probably just the back set. So it doesn't really matter either. Solid, good Bremen jersey. I'm gonna give this eight stars because um, while it's not outstanding, it's really solid, classic looking, all that you would expect. Same thing goes almost for the away jersey uh, with the added benefit that uh, there's on the sleeve cups is a very interesting pattern in green. I wish maybe for the color to be in green, but I really like the shadow striping. It looks very much uh, early 90s. <laughs> I understand that the um, shirt sponsor is here in full color, so that looks all right. Um, I do like that the crest pops here a little bit better, uh, but maybe it's a little bit too white and for that only seven stars. And the third jersey, yep, black with greenish with a little bit of crazy pattern on there, full color sponsor. Um, you agree with me, it's a little bit much. The only thing that saves the jersey from really getting a bad um, Rating is that it stays within the color scheme. It uses black and green. I think that's all right. And uh, for that reason, I'm willing to give this five stars. Well, and that's it. Part one of my Bundesliga jersey review. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop comments below what you thought about these jerseys that I'm uh, talking about in this video. Uh, I really would like to hear from you. And yeah. I'll post part two uh, tomorrow and I will talk to you soon then. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.